Hi, welcome back to Brooks's Bass Corner. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Nordstrand Asinanix short scale bass. Before I do, if you're enjoying the reviews and videos on the channel, please hit the subscribe button below, hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I release new videos, and please leave a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you have any comments regarding the bass or the review, leave them below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Enjoy the review. Inspired by Juan Alderetti and the Goya Panther bass, this short scale Asinanix from the workbench of Kerry Nordstrand is a whole heap of fun to play, and despite its quirkiness and slightly off the wall design aspects, the reduced neck dimensions, ease of use and varied tonal palette make for a really enjoyable playing experience. Before I continue I should stress that the bass has an extra tonal setting available, which I wasn't aware of when reviewing and demoing the bass. Apparently by pressing all four tone selector buttons down at once, you are able to tap into a setting called All In, which puts the pickups into series mode, which produces a loud, thick, punchy tone. 
I wasn't aware of this until after the base had been returned, so if you can audition one of these bases at a store, definitely check out that extra tonal setting. As you have seen in the demos, the ability to call on tonal presets and pickup configurations is instantaneous, and as you will have heard, the tonal differences are very apparent. Thankfully, all of the settings sound very usable indeed, and I could happily find plenty of applications for this bass based on the sounds it has to offer. The short scale length, reduced nut width, and reduced string spacing dimensions all contribute to making this bass fit like a glove, and certainly it doesn't feel like any effort is spent when playing it. Its lightweight design and balance contribute heavily to its playability and comfort, and playing with a light touch is certainly beneficial. Being heavy handed is really not required here. Some of the design aspects might not be to everyone's tastes, but if anything, I think they add to its charm and Kerry Nordstrand should be applauded for trying something a little different. And the fact it plays so well and sounds so good is even more reason to try one of these basses out for yourself. The price tag is very reasonable, and with various vintage colours available, there's certainly something for everyone. For those who like to slap and pluck, you may find the neck pickup gets in your way now and again, but I found it relatively comfortable to either slap over the pickup or a little further behind it. I can see many players getting hold of these basses and not wanting to put them down. Short scale basses feel so welcoming to a player's hands, and if playability, tonal quality and wanting to play a bass that puts a smile on your face are important factors for you, you will fall in love with the Nordstrand Asynonyx. Track one down as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this review and other videos on the channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I release new videos and please leave a thumbs up if you can, I'd really appreciate it. If you have any comments about the base or the review, leave them below and I'll come back to you as soon as I can. Look forward to seeing you here again on Brooks's Base Corner.